Hey, welcome back to Pre Liars Review, Season 6, Episode 3. Okay, so the girls are out of the, the hospital and they're all like on their own. Most of them. Well, they're back home and they're just trying to adjust life. And yeah, and they're all like. Supposed to be going back to school. Yeah, and they're like all, all, all on their own. They're not together all the time. They definitely separated since the events of the the show. Yep. Or the events of the dollhouse. Okay. Aro just goes to the freaking the, the cafe. Yeah. To get like a drink to go. Mm hmm But she she up just sitting there. She procrastinates. Yeah, and then Ash like convinced her uh, not to go to school. You, you can stay here. Mm -hmm. Right right and she's like no no. Yeah, she's all about like not writing right now. Yep. And then Arya sits with Ezra. And then and like stays with Sarah, which I don't trust Sarah. I don't like Sarah. I don't trust her, I don't like her. Dude, she's got some bad intentions. Going what if on like there. every time she's in Sarah, what if she's freaking on the phone with it? Charles? Well that's another thing too. Um with Sarah it seems like she's kind of butting in. Like she's always interfering slightly. And here's the thing, you know, the video they took of her, that's one of the, that, that's the, the highlight of the, the episode was they're all at the, uh, they finally get together because, uh, you know, they all blew Hannah off. Hannah yeah. was the only one that wanted to go back to school. And they blow her off. Well, Hannah meets Dr. Sullivan. Yeah. And she, you know, she yeah. kind of convinces her. To you know, get all the girls together to have a group session because things are weird because. I'm not convinced Hannah to have a a, a session. And then she, she wanted like, to have the girls there, yeah. and Hannah, like I said, she. You find out that it didn't happen, but they were all under the impression they were hurting each other, like yeah. you had to shock somebody to get your food or water or whatever, yeah. and just to prove that you know they will turn on each other and come down to it. And they're all still kind of reeling from that. I don't think they're upset. I think they're just more embarrassed or ashamed themselves that they've actually, you know, turned on their own friends. Mm -hmm. So she kind of wanted to get everybody together. Of course, they all blow her off at school, but then they do get together for this uh, session meeting. But just before it starts, they get their text. Uh, oh, they get a call from... A video. Uh, yeah, from Sarah's phone. It's a video chat. And sure enough, it's Sarah sleeping with uh, A slash Charles coming after her with a knife. Yeah. And then, of course, it's like, you it's know... It's like, yeah, uh, don't tell or something. Don't, like you don't mention my name or someone dies, and if you don't leave there in 30 seconds, someone dies. And it shows that's the video show, and you're like, okay, I'll buy... It's, it's a video, it's real, but it's like... She could be working with A. Yeah. She could have stayed that whole thing. Because as soon as I get there, she's in the shower. She just got out of the shower. Got out of the shower. It's like, okay, you went from sleeping soundly... To, cause, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll bite maybe five minutes to get back home. Depending yeah. where they're at, I'm not sure how. I mean, you don't really think, I don't think Rosewood's that big. So, five minutes to get there, and she just now stepped out of the shower. I know girls in their showers. It's a little longer than five minutes. So, I'm saying there's something fishy there. That's all I'm saying. 15, so. Well, still, yeah. I mean, they're not in a giant metropolis, for Christ's sake. Let's mm -hmm. uh, see. Spencer's takes one of them. Um, pills. Yeah, I, I hate that. I mean, she's doing so good, and granted, I mean, I, I was hoping <sighs> if she would just, if, if her mom would just let her have the pills, I wouldn't feel so bad about it. It's like, yeah, our doctor prescribed, and she definitely needs it. But, you know, when they're like, no, it's like, well, you gotta, you know, the, the mom's reasons is definitely, Mrs. Hastings' reasons are definitely valid. I mean, you know, her daughter did have, you know, I think it's called substance abuse, fuck it. Uh, but I, I just hate to see Spencer, I hate to see her either way, I hate to see her, you know, awake and just fucking stressed and about to melt down, but I also hate her to have to steal pills from her friends just to get some sleep, so, it, it sucks either way. And she's already, I mean, she's just at that melting point right now, you know, with her and her mom have that conversation, and, like I said, this is, the, this is one of the few times I'm kind of on the mom's side, in a sense, because, I mean, I do feel like she is just trying to help her daughter, and actually, cause, you know, before, whenever it was like Spencer against her parents, there was so much mystery about why the parents are doing what they're doing. 
this is the first time where I don't feel like there's in there to hide anything right now. And you are just like, I hope Spencer's just safe. Because once again, Andrew walked, and she just wants him to, you know, wants her to be safe. Because, you know, if Andrew didn't do it, that means that they're still out there. Charles still out there, so. Yeah. But. And the, the girls go to um, Allie's house. Oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, they're like, you, you haven't been looking in my secret hides, but not my parents. So basically, like, the, they're digging through the plants and down yeah. through the bedrooms and stuff. Well, because you find, what they say is, the dad says that Charles was, no, no, sorry, it was, he said Charles didn't exist. Charles De, uh, De Laurentiis didn't exist. But Jason says that was his imaginary friend. However, what it's looking like is that it was his twin brother or whatever at a young age. And for whatever reason, they got rid of him and then convinced Jason, hey, you had a twin kind of thing. So... That's what it's looking like. But here's what here's what I'm gonna throw it out there. Clearly two boys in the picture, right? Yeah. Remember back a while back ago, and I know and I, I hope I'm not spoiling the books for anybody if you I haven't read the books, but I've already had spoiled for me, which is okay because I wasn't gonna read it anyways. But it was the same thing, except it was Allie and she had a twin. Which was my theory from the beginning. I didn't even know about that at all. Like I just assumed that she'd have a twin. Anyways, um I'm just wondering if maybe Sarah is Charles. Like at a young age, she was maybe she had genetically wrong with her, or what? Or maybe she because remember there's even a, a, a dream sequence that Allie has where the mom has two sets of clothes. Yeah. Female clothes for her. Remember? Yeah. And it's like, and once again, it makes sense if they went the book and it was her, you know, her twin. But they got rid of that. It's like, well, what does that have to do with anything? And like, why even have that scene if you knew ahead of time? So I'm thinking, what if that was actually a little girl that just kind of looked boyish? You know? Just saying. It can happen. Sleepaway camp, motherfuckers. Sleepaway camp. This is kind of reverse sleepaway camp. Maybe they wanted there. I don't know. I'm throwing, I'm spitballing here. Throw me a bone here. Shit. Uh, but no, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just feel kind of odd, like, I don't know, that, that, that sequence shouldn't even been in the whole thing at all. If they are going to go with a twin brother route, because everybody's saying it's looking like they're doing the same thing from the books, but now they're going to do it with Jason instead of Allie. Mm -hmm. I'm like hybrid. I don't know. This is a quick theory. I'm not. I'm not convinced on that one. I still think Allie's behind it all. Although she's very sympathetic anymore. Like I, I used to love hating Allie, and now I'm starting to root for her, and I hate that because I don't like her. But uh, it's me. And Arya's going through like the buttons yeah button and then found the picture yeah that really that proves that charles is real yeah and then like or charlie as jason calls him they'll talk for a little bit and i was like i'm all gonna do this for myself yeah so. i mean it's smart too because i mean it's not like if they all like even he was like fucking like his, his own kids came at him you know and he was defensive then just imagine if it was a bunch of you know her, your kids friends he ain't gonna fucking say shit then. So yeah, I, I can understand that. Uh, they both go, um, at him, mm -hmm. Ellen and Jason, and then they're like, she's like, she a picture, and she's like, he's the other kid. And of course he tells her, but we don't hear it. Yeah. Because due to some fancy and, and directing we do, yeah, we're outside the window when we hear it. Yeah. You just hear Ali go, she says something like, what? what? Yeah. And so you know some big news is dropped. Yeah. But then, of course, who's watching it? A himself, or Charles, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Which I still think it, it, it could be Sarah. I feel like it's Allie, actually. I think Allie, but that's my original thing. I, right I now, think it's Andrew. You still think it's Andrew? Yeah. Andrew Frey? Andrew Uh I don't know who Andrew Campbell is. I know the show. What are you doing? Yeah. I know who Andrew is. Oh. I like the episode. Oh, we're at the end of the notes here? Yeah. It wasn't a bad episode. It just wasn't great either. Uh, I felt like last week's episode was okay to be slow and more, you know, drama-driven, emotion-driven. This week, I was ready to get back to some action, and we didn't get hardly any action at all. Um, to me, like I said, the highlight of the show was literally when, you know, you think A has a knife on Sarah, 
and they, you know, Lars had to spring to action. That, to me, was the highlight, and then just, it just dropped. I get it. You know, we're, we're, we're at the beginning of Season 6, so I know the summer answers, like, not every episode's going to have a big reveal. I get that. However, I'm, 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 I want it. Like, I want answers, and we're not getting any of them. Like, we're... we're we get so little. Oh, it's like, they, it's like they'll build up a, a mystery for you, and then they quickly debunk that one. But they don't debunk the actual question. Like, they're like, well, could Andrew be A? Ah, Andrew's not A. Okay. But A's still out there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it just seems like they're constantly... And then, we're like, you know, it's like, finally, we get the confrontation between uh, Allie and Jason, you know, with their father... And then they're like, ah, oh, we're going to tell you about this week, though. And you're like, fuck me. Like, I just want to know, the, you know. Which, I mean, that's good. I mean, because I, mean, I, mean, I want to tune in next week. I mean, I'd tune in anyways. But I feel like next week's going to be a pretty good episode. Just because I feel like we've had two episodes that were kind of a little lackluster. Uh, not bad, but just not really the heart-pounding suspense that I usually love from my PLL. Uh, so I, I feel like next week's episode will probably bring it back. It really will. Um, like I said, there is something I don't care about this episode. Like, I'm... I, I don't like the Sarah character, and now that I'm realizing that she's going to be a big part of the plot, I'm kind of like, oh, fuck, we're going to put up with her this entire time. Like, I just don't, it's like she's clearly full of shit. She's like Allie full of shit. This whole, like, oh, poor me, my mom don't like me. It's like, you know, I didn't even talk to her mom yet. That's weird first. Like, you would think, let's go talk to the mom. If she's clearly doing this kind of neglectful abuse, mental abuse to her daughter, boom, go talk to the mom, see what's going on. They haven't even decided to go there yet. I'm like, really? Because I don't think the mom that even exists. And if she is, she's probably dead. Kind of, you know what I mean? Like, clearly there's something fishy going on there. Mm -hmm. Secondly, because remember she even left the... And they even... Because, you know, the Emily's mom's like, well, you know, her mom took her. And she's like, well, you know, it's her mom. She's like, no, it's assumed it's a woman. It's like, well, you don't know. This is it. Like, literally, it could have been anybody. So, I don't know. That's, that's the first red flag. There's something wrong with this bitch right here. Um, I, I'm not... I don't want this whole Allie, Lorenzo, 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 yeah, yeah. Lorenzo. Uh, I don't like. Provis trying to break break it up. With good reason. Allie has been nothing but trouble since season one, and I don't care that she helped him find the girls. She like they say she okay, helped. He just talk to the freaking the police officer. So it's like. Uh, well, because whenever I got like. It, like, you know, let's face it, Allie's a very attractive woman. If you didn't know anything about her except that she has a troubled past and she's coming on to you, you're not going to say no. I'm just saying. like, so Even if your buddy's like, listen, she's trouble, stay away from her. You're like, yeah, but pussy's pussy. I, I, not to be crude, but that's just what guys think. So he's not going to stay away because of that. So literally, I just feel like, uh, yeah, he, he don't care. He's going to get... So I, I just, from our standpoint, though, I don't want to see it. Like, it just, they're trying to introduce us lovey dovey subplot and I just don't care. It's like when they tried to introduce uh remember Ezra's other employee, the girl that you thought oh, was gonna yeah. be with Emily? It was like that went nowhere. They literally just threw it in there just to kinda give you a new suspect to kinda be leery of. But it went nowhere ultimately. And I feel like that's all this is too. It's like you know, he shows up out of nowhere, he's new town or he said he claims he's new town or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I am gonna I'm gonna be on his side. I'm gonna believe he's on the up and up. But now it's like, I don't care about this fucking love story. I just don't. Like, to me, it's like, I don't know. And I get it. We're trying to stretch it out. Because, you know, they're, they're, they kind of are paint themselves in the corner. Like, we got two seasons to go. We're going to reveal well, who A is. Season. Well, I mean, count this season. So, it's like, you so got... count this season. You can't count this season. So, one more season. Oh, shut up. So, we yeah, got you two. Shut you shut up. up. Face. No, you shut your face. No. Oh. But, uh... No, no, you, you got, you know, fill up season six and seven. So I get it. We're trying to stretch it out as much as possible. I get it. But still, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired of subplots. I just, I just want all killer, no filler. You know, that's what I want. But, um, but yeah, no, like I said, this, this episode's a little weak, kind of weak sauce. But I, I do feel like, you know, it's going to come back big time next week. Uh, and with that said, I miss Mona. They kind of yeah. said it, you know, they took her away, you know, because she was, you know, the safety or whatever. I can't remember what the... Yeah. They gave a whole explanation, but her mom, you know, took her. But either way, I was like, I'm, I'm you know, it's funny I used to hate her too. I used to love to hate her. I wouldn't know to say hate, but, you know, but I know there are actresses on a show, but, uh, or characters on a show, but I, I, you know, I, I didn't trust her. I didn't like her. And, of course, after she faked her death, 
it took me a while to, to gain that trust. It seemed like right before that she died was when I kind of was like back on her side, I guess. I'm not really back on her side, but on her side for the first time. And then they killed her. I was like, holy shit, but then she's back. And I was like, yay. And now she's gone again. Because I'm really wanting to see this dynamic now. Because Allie seems to be on the up and up. I'm not buying it for a million years, but whatever. She, clear, she, she seems to be on the up and up. And so is Mona. So it's like the first time now that Allie and Mona's kind of on the same side, you know? Yeah. They each have a common enemy. I'm just wanting to see how that dynamic plays out. But we haven't had a chance to really see that yet. Because no. last time, if you remember, when Allie and Mona confronted each other, it was not pretty. No. Mona bitch slapped the shit out of her. And then she wound up dead. Well, dead. So, but yeah, so that's the episode. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I said it, was, it was okay. It wasn't nearly as good. And like, because I remember you, you, know, you always write your notes down, and you're just like, there ain't really nothing to write. It's because like nothing happened. Like it was a whole hour, or I guess 40 minutes, I guess, but either way, of just mediocre tension building. Like it wasn't even really much tension building at all. It's just, like I said, I don't know. I, 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 I know my PLL will come back, and I know yeah. next week will be a stronger episode. But, Alright. Yeah. We want to know what your guys' theories are. Absolutely. And comment below or your bitter response. Your response is always good. Yeah. And if on Twitter or Facebook. Alright. Do they have your Facebook information, your Twitter information? My Twitter. My Angel22. My Angel22. And I don't remember what my... It's Maya the Fallen Angel, isn't it? Isn't that the name? My Instagram. Oh, your Instagram account. I don't remember your Instagram. I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> and my Facebook is Maya the Fallen Angel Space. No, Maya the Fallen Space Angel. Yeah, so she, she yeah. worked her way around that whole naming thing. Yeah. So, till next video, which should be Friday, is my reviews. Mm -hmm. And it would be Finders Keepers and Gremlins 2. So until then. Yeah, until then.